I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. <laughs> We have to stop demonizing people and realize the biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I would say uh, uh, our, our country should be more fearful um, of, of, of white men across our country. Punch some people in the face! And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome. Well, shouldn't that be done by a commission or the city council, not a mob in the middle of the night throwing it into the harbor? People will do what they do. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. For a three-year-old child. And I will never stop saying, not only do we need to disinvest for in police, but we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. <laughs> Does anyone believe there'll be less violence in America? Donald Trump is re-elected? Biden is using mafia talking points. The mob will leave you alone if you give them what you want. That's what it is. The, the mob will leave you alone, give them what you want, but it doesn't work that way. Because once you give them, they keep taking, taking, taking. This is the extreme left's agenda for America. They want to appoint radical prosecutors, judges, and federal officials who will set criminals free. Their stated plan is to cut police funding, abolish cash bail, close down prisons, re-educate our children, preach left-wing social justice, establish a national sanctuary for criminal illegal aliens, and abolish the death penalty, even for cop killers. And basically, it's weakness. It's weakness on behalf of Democrat politicians or Republicans, we don't have problems. You take a look at our cities. Our cities are doing very well. They're safe. They're secure. I spent a lot of time in Texas, uh, as you know, just a couple of days ago, and I was with the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott. He was explaining they wouldn't put up with it for a minute. They just don't have the kind of problems that other people have. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.